Eevee has to be one of the most beloved Pokemon of all time, and I completely understand why. Aside from the fact that its design is perfect, this Pokemon can basically fit anyone's interests. Being able to evolve into so many different types, it feels like there's a version of Eevee for everybody. This is so true to the point where Eevee's almost become a pseudo mascot for the Pokemon franchise. Eevee is even on the cover of one of the best Pokemon games of all time, and if you don't agree with me, fight me in the comments, let's go as peak. With all that being said, there's something that's been missing from the Eevee brand for a while, and that is the absence of Eevee getting a new evolution. Time has gone by pretty fast because it's legitimately been over 10 years since Eevee got a new form with Sylveon in Pokemon X and Y. It's actually crazy to think it's been over a decade since we've gotten a new form and that there's a whole wave of Pokemon fans that have never experienced the release of an Eevee Lucian. It's been so long that a lot of people seem to think that this is the end of Eevee getting any new forms, and I believe that we're actually going to get a new Eevee form very soon. More specifically, a dragon type one. But to understand why I think that, we gotta take a look on how exactly evolutions are even chosen in the first place, why Game Freak stopped making them, and why I believe Pokemon Legends ZA is definitely the game where this is gonna get revealed or we're never seeing an evolution again. So let's go back all the way to the first generation of Pokemon, the Kanto region where Eevee was first revealed. In this generation, there were only 151 Pokemon, and Eevee had the option of only evolving into three forms, that being Jolteon, Flareon, and Vaporeon. Eevee was able able to unlock these evolutions by giving Eevee an evolutionary stone, with that being the Thunderstone, Firestone, or Waterstone, and Eevee would go into one of these forms. It is even stated throughout the games that Eevee has an irregular shape genetic structure, enabling it to evolve into multiple different forms, which depends on if it touches a stone or the relationship with the trainer. The idea of Eevee's DNA being special is also played on even more in the second generation of the Pokemon universe, where it is heavily theorized that the legendary dogs from that region are actually all evolutions. Basically, how the story would go is that three evolutions ended up dying in a tower that burnt down, and Ho Ho, the legendary Pokemon, ended up reviving these three evolutions, turning them into Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. Surprisingly, in this generation too, it started the theme of us getting new evolutions every other game, where in this generation we got the evolutions Umbreon and Espeon, the psychic and dark type pair for Eevee. And so far, if you haven't noticed, there's been an underlying theme on which Pokemon have the capabilities of evolving into an evolution, and that is a special type. This is a term used to describe some types of Pokemon, which is completely irrelevant nowadays since they don't exist. In the first few Pokemon games, the stats worked a little differently than how they do today. There was a special stat and there was a physical stat. So if a Pokemon had stat buffs in the special category, it would in turn buff their special type moves. And if they buffed their physical stat category, it would buff their physical moves. So in really simple terms, a fire type would be considered a special type. So if you had special points, it would buff all your fire type moves, even moves like Fire Fang, while a fighting type would be considered a physical type. So no matter what the move is, as long as it's a fighting type, it would be considered a physical attack. This is all very important because Eevee has never evolved into a physical type ever. All the types in the past that would have been considered a physical type are normal, fighting, flying, ground, rock, bug, poison, ghost, and steel. You would think after so many generations, Eevee would end up getting a physical type evolution, but it just hasn't, which makes me believe that Eevee can only evolve into the special type. In the fourth generation, when Eevee ended up revealing that it was getting new evolutions, it ended up getting ice and grass type forms that also evolved by evolutionary stones. It is also worth mentioning, Game Freak did rework the entire game in the fourth generation to remove the physical special category from the Pokemon and make it individual for each moves, but it seemed like with Leafy on and Glaceon, they kept the theme of only making Eevee evolve into what was considered once special types. So by this point, it kind of answers the question why Game Freak stopped making evolutions, since we kind of ran out of special types to use. Except one. There's one type I haven't mentioned yet that is also considered a special type, and that would be the Dragon type. Surprisingly, it wasn't considered physical in the past, it was considered special, and it has easily been one of the most anticipated forms for an evolution for the longest time. So when the sixth generation was coming around, everybody was excited, waiting for the Dragon Evolution since we cracked the code. Then, when Pokemon X and Y dropped, we did get a new Evolution. It just wasn't a Dragon type. It was a Fairy type, the brand new type in that generation. Now, Sylveon is pure hype. I love Sylveon a lot. But this was very confusing for Pokemon theorists since Sylveon's release was the most unconventional one out of all the Eevees. First of all, it's the first Evolution not to release in a pair since they normally release in twos. Second off, Fairy type isn't directly considered a special or 
physical type since the type just wasn't around when this was a concept. So people seem to think that this debunks the theory that Eevee can only evolve into special types, and this is the last evolution since it's the pinnacle of what Eevee illusions are supposed to be, ending at the fairy type. This also doesn't help the fact that in Sun and Moon we didn't get a new evolution, and in the Galar region, the second generation after Sun and Moon, where people thought we would really get a dragon evolution based on the theme of the region, we got absolutely nothing. No hints, no nothing. It looks like it was completely dead. And if you believe Eevee's never getting another form again, that would be a completely reasonable explanation. Until Game Freak announced their brand new game coming out next year, Pokemon Legends ZA. This game is going to be taking place in the Kalos region, the last time we got an Eeveelution, and Game Freak has the opportunity to do the coolest thing ever with revealing, finally, the Dragon-type Eeveelution. There is a pretty popular theory going around where what if Sylveon was supposed to release with a pair, the Dragon Pair, and it just didn't come out because the Dragon Evolutions are now extinct? But if the new Pokemon game, Legend ZA, takes place in the past of the Kalos region, it would be entirely possible to play as Eevee in this region and actually end up getting the materials needed to evolve Eevee into a Dragon type. This would easily answer all the in-universe plot holes on why we've never seen a Dragon Evolution because they simply just don't exist in the present timeline but they were very prominent in the past. People have even taken this theory super far, saying that the Fairy-type evolutions ended up slaying the dragons, making them extinct, which is why they're no longer in the modern day. This would be so cool, because imagine if the Eevee form that everyone wanted all along, the dragon-type, actually was real the entire time. It's just that it's been so long that they've been able to evolve into this form that it was never recorded in history, and it's something that is literally a mystery of the past. Kind of how people interpret dragons in our real-life world today. This also covers up any plot holes that may have been including a late evolution like this in universe and this isn't even the first time we've seen game freak give people these exclusive class forms take blood moon ursa luna for example they gave ursa luna a super cool evolution and just explained that the reason why ursa luna never evolved is because this stone just doesn't exist in the modern day and was only found in the past in the hisui region it is also worth mentioning but some people believe that eevee could end up getting a mega evolution that evolves it into a dragon type this would end up falling under the same premises of the last theory where the Eevee evolutionary stone was lost so far in the past and when we finally get it in these games, Eevee evolves into its final mega evolution form, Dragon Eeveelution. Now between Eevee getting a normal evolution and a mega stone evolution, I would much rather him just having a normal evolution since it's something that could be used and implemented in future games a lot more since mega evolutions may not stay around for the longest time. This is a theory I am super super confident on and I would be utterly shocked if we don't get a dragon form evolution in these games and if we don't i will finally join the side of saying that the dream of eevee getting any other evolutions is officially dead because this opportunity seems way too good to pass up with sylveon finally getting its pair that i would be very sad if i have to eat my words that this doesn't come true so i hope i'm right but even if eevee doesn't get a new form we know for sure that mega evolution is coming back in pokemon legend ca which is pretty interesting since it has a pretty dark secret which i think you should know about so click the video on your screen because I explain how it might affect all the Pokemon in Legend ZA. 